It's been five years since Craig Kilberger Secondary School in Milton, Ontario opened up its doors. In those five short years, the CKSS music program has grown exponentially, but not without the extreme dedication, passion, and hard work from both the music teachers and students within the music community. Since the program first started out, music teachers Kendra Chow and Derek Shouten have noticed a huge change in the growth of the program. We have many more students walking into this classroom. That's the first thing that I noticed. When I was here four years ago, um, each class was combined. There was a 10, 11, 12 combined class with a total of about 15 students. We also see a lot of uh, the energy in this room. The energy just within the, the program is <laughs> has it just has grown so much. Um, students come into this classroom knowing that they're in a safe place, being excited and wanting to wake up in the morning to be here to just make music. The CKSS music program offers a wide variety of extracurriculars which help students foster their musical talents. Concert band, concert choir, the a cappella group Neon, jazz band, drumline, and the newly formed symphonic band are all ensembles the program offers which cater to the skill sets of students from all grades. In CKSS concert band, we play more classical concert repertoire, um, a lot of uh, newer kind of contemporary arrangements that really develop our sense of musicality and tonality and, and the other elements as well. CKSS Jazz Band is an extension of Concert Band. You must be a member of Concert Band to join Jazz Band. And why is it an extension? Because it takes what you learn in Concert Band and you apply it in Jazz Band using a different art form. Um, we have two vocal ensembles. One is a CKSS Concert Choir. Um, similar to the Concert Band, we perform more traditional choral repertoire. On the flip side, we also have Neon, which is an a cappella vocal ensemble. Uh, they take what they learn from concert choir in terms of, um, in terms of the healthy vocal technique, tone, uh, understanding how the breath works, and and uh, they perform more jazz and contemporary popular pieces. So we also have CKSS Drumline, um, and that that ensemble is uh, directed by one of our one of our students, one of our percussion students, uh, Jessalyn Sheen, and she's taken a great leadership role and she's helping develop them uh, through basic drumline techniques. Symphonic band is sort of a stepping stone into concert band. The grade nines coming in uh, to CK might not be as used to the type of repertoire that we play. We definitely push them beyond what they are used to in grade eight, seven, and six. Alongside Ms. Chow and Mr. Shouten are two grade 12 student leaders who help keep the music program moving forward and who continuously strive to expand the music community at the school. They are Music Council President Andrea Sargento and Vice President Nicholas Paul. So as president of the Music Council, I kind of take head over what happens in the meetings and I kind of organize what we kind of want to get done in the meetings. So like, say there's an event coming up, then we, I kind of orchestrate how it happens and I delegate people to do certain activities that they need to run. And as vice president, basically what I'm doing is anything that she needs help with, anything that basically is driving her insane, I can help her out with it. We've only been around for around three-ish years, and so we definitely need to work on expanding our student base. We've got two very solid teachers, both Ms. Kendra Chow and Mr. Derek Shouten, and they definitely support us and also encourage us to be more confident with who we are, which in turn spreads to the rest of the school. And so by doing that, we're hoping that we spread the message that music is welcoming and always trying to uh, attract more people to join us. With CKSS emerging onto the map and gaining recognition as a music school, more and more students students are finding their place within the program. With the increased numbers also come many more performance opportunities awaiting them this year. An instrumental, we're going, hoping, hoping to go to uh, the Ontario Band Fest. Uh, we're hoping to go to Wonderland, where we're going to have our band showcase type thing. For vocal, they're going to OVF, which is the Ontario Vocal Festival. And ideally, if we do well there, we would get invited to the Nationals, uh, being, hold, being held by Music Fest Canada. Two years ago, um, our choir actually made it to um, Nationals, which was pretty amazing, considering it was just kind of our fledgling years. We actually managed to earn a silver there, which was pretty, pretty darn awesome. To join the CKSS music program, no experience is needed. Students of all genders and ages are welcome to join. For Ms. Chow and Mr. Shouten, working with these amazing students makes their day more fulfilling. Well, for me, it's it's my dream job. Um, I was just having a conversation with Miss Chow this morning about how uh, certain aspects of your life can can start weighing on you. But for me, coming to work as therapy, working with 
these amazing students and helping them grow musically and develop their, per their personalities and who they are uh, and making music part of their personality. For me, that is my ideal career. For me, being able to say that I can go to work and be excited to go to work and go in feeling positive or feeling tired and then the minute we enter the classroom, the minute we see the, the faces of students that are eager to be there, are eager to become better musicians, um, is just, you know, it just kind of like brightens my entire day. For more information on the CKSS music program and their upcoming performances, you can visit their blog spot. Reporting for Halton Insider, I'm Emily Elliott.